Welcome to another week. I'm so glad the sunshine is back this week. I am teacher Michelle and this is Yenna. And this is Dana. And the upside down one is Gabriel. <laughs> Welcome. I hope you all had an amazing week. Have any of you lay on the grass and looked up at the clouds? That's what we're doing right now. We're looking up in the sky and you can see all different shapes and sizes. Hey, the, the moon, moon is up. The moon is even out now. So, this week we are going to learn about some rain clouds and an ark and a man and his family Daddy. called Noah. And a flood and I, came. And a yes. flood that came. Okay, so right now let's all go crazy and have some praise and worship. Woo! Okay, let's close our eyes before we start, guys. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for another amazing week and thank you that you went with us and please help us learn lots this week and now let's have a great praise and worship. Amen. Amen. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God Treasure 
When God created the world and everything in it, He made man in His own image to live here and take care of the world. However, humans started doing evil things and stopped following His commands. They did not pray to Him and they only cared for their own comfort. God decided to destroy the earth and everybody in it. There was only one man who loved God, Noah. Noah loved and worshipped God. He believed in God even though nobody else did. He also taught his family to love and fear God. One day, God spoke to Noah. Noah, you are a good man. You are righteous and you live a good life with your family. But the world has become evil and all the people in the world deserve to die. Noah was shocked at what he heard but he remained calm. But God, these are your people. Have mercy on them. No, Noah. The world has to be destroyed. I will send a great flood that will destroy the whole of Earth. It will rain without end for 40 days. Every living being on Earth will be destroyed. So be it. Let your will be done. Fear not, Noah. I have come to warn you because you have been a good man. You and your family will survive the flood. You are merciful, my God. You will have to build an ark for you and your family. What is an ark, my Lord? An ark is a big wooden boat. You will build this ark to protect your family from the flood. The ark should be big enough for your family. You will also be taking many animals along with you, so that they can survive too. But God, I have no knowledge about building arcs. How will I do this? Do not worry. I will give you all the instructions you need. Just follow them, and you will be able to build it without any problem. Okay, my lord. 
I will follow your instructions and do as you say. You must also talk to the people around you and try to convince them to mend their ways. Tell them to turn to me, pray to me, and fear me. Tell them to be kind and do good things. Tell them to stop being selfish and live a good life. I will do as you say, my lord. And as God instructed, Noah started to cut down trees. He made big planks out of the wood to build his ark. People started noticing what Noah was doing. They gathered around him as he shaped his planks and piled them up. They were curious. Noah, what are you doing? Hello, friend. I am building an ark. What is an ark? It is a big boat, my friend. It will protect me and my family from the flood. What flood? My dear friend, God, our Creator, spoke to me. He said that He is angry with the people, and He is going to destroy all living beings with a flood. My dear Noah, we don't understand. Where is this flood coming from? God will send heavy rains. It will rain non-stop for 40 days, and a flood will come and wipe out everything. You can stop this. God is angry with your ways. You only have to turn to Him and mend your ways. Pray to Him. Ask Him for forgiveness, and you will be saved. You can come with me and my ark. You will be saved from the flood. Noah, have you gone mad? You do not make any sense. Why are you doing all this? Stop building this nonsense ark and look after your family. Sorry, my friend. This is my work. God has asked me to do this. I have to obey Him. I will build this ark as He has told me. The villagers laughed loudly and returned to their homes. By now, Noah had gathered all the food grains, the seeds, and the animals. He stored the food grains in the ark. God then made the animals arrive in pairs. Every animal and bird on the earth waited in line patiently to enter the ark. There were lions, tigers, elephants, snakes, parrots, zebras, everyone. Two by two, they entered the ark. Then Noah called to the villagers and once again invited them to enter his ark. The people still refused to believe in him. They could not understand why he was collecting animals and placing them in the ark. They continued to sin against God and they refused to enter. You said it would rain for 40 days, Noah. I don't even see a drip of rain anywhere. Do you still think that you're making any sense? Do you really think that this God is going to save you? You have been making a fool of yourself and trying to make us all fools as well. I believe in my Lord. He will never abandon me. He has always guided me to do what is right. I am still inviting you to join me in the ark. You will be saved. We are not coming into your stupid ark. You can do as you please. Just leave us alone now. Once Noah had completed filling up his ark with the animals, God told Noah to assemble his family and bring them into the ark. Once they had entered the ark, the door was closed and the ark was sealed shut. As soon as the ark was sealed, the first drops of rain began to fall on earth. The villagers were amazed as there had not been any rains for a very long time. Soon it was raining heavily and big thunderclouds gathered all around the village. It continued to rain for days and soon the water was flooding the village. The ark then began to float over the water. People in the village were running for shelter as their homes had been swept away by the flood. Meanwhile, Noah, his family, and the animals he had brought with him were safe and warm in the ark. It rained heavily for 40 days, and in the end there was nothing but water all around. All living beings were drowned, and even the highest mountains were covered by the flood. Noah looked out of the window of his ark and could see nothing but water all around. After 40 days and 40 nights of rain, it stopped raining. 
the water level slowly started coming down. The ark continued to sail with Noah's family and the animals. They kept sailing in search of dry land. After many days, Noah sent a dove out in search of dry land. The dove returned as it could not find any place to make a nest. The water still covered every patch of dry land. Noah waited for one week and then sent the dove out again. This time, the dove returned with an olive branch. This meant that the water levels had come down. Noah waited for one more week, and this time, when he sent the dove out, it did not return. This was a sign that the water had come down and there was dry land. Soon, the ark came to a stop on top of a dry mountain. Then God spoke to Noah. Noah, it is now safe for you and your family to leave the ark. You can step out to the land. You can now lead a new life with your family. Release all the animals. Let them once again roam the earth. Thank you, my Lord. I am thankful for your love and faith in me. You have kept me safe through all this. My family is alive and well because of you. We owe our lives to you. You are a righteous man, Noah. Your faith in me has saved you. Your family has been saved because of your good deeds. I promise that I will never again send the floods. As a reminder of this promise, God created a beautiful rainbow. Noah and his family lived for a long time on earth. They had many children, and soon Noah's children and grandchildren were spread all over the world. Wasn't that a lovely story? I love Noah's Ark because I can always imagine how crazy it must have been on that ark. Millie's on the floor, on the wooden floors, animals being loud and noisy. It must have been quite chaotic inside that ark. I can just imagine Noah trying to get to not one, but two elephants onto the ark. So he really listened to God. Our memory verse for this week is Genesis 6, verse 22. Like two elephants, Genesis 6, 22. <laughs> Noah did everything just as God commanded him. Took two animals. Okay, so Genesis 6, verse 22. Noah did everything. Everything just as God commanded him. I want to encourage you this week to look around you and see if there's a friend in need. Sometimes when you have a lot, you can share with somebody who has less than you. There we go. Now we have two happy elephants. Yay! All right, boys and girls, you will have this picture to color in. And I'm just going to finish up my coloring in. Once you've decorated it and colored it in, we will then cut it out. Once you finish cutting it out, you will see that there is a line in the middle. You're going to fold it on the line. And then you're going to glue it. And there you have a Noah's Ark. Teacher will give you some wool and some colored paper and we're going to make a rainbow on the top. Thank you Jam City for joining us this week. Let's all close our eyes. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for saving Noah and two of each kind of animal in the flood that filled the earth 
Thank you so much for saving them. And dear Lord Jesus, please help remind us to be kind and not to sin and to ask for forgiveness from Jesus. Thank you so much that we can ask for forgiveness. And please help us be good and kind. And thank you for beautiful rainbows that remind us that you promised never again you would flood the earth. Please help us this week to be as obedient as Noah was. Amen. Have a lovely week. You won't give up on me.